I had a bone shaker for about three months, I believe. Uh, I've been passing by here a few times and I thought it was a really cool bookstore. It's collectively run. And um, so it's been a very good experience. The stuff picks was Berlin, City of Stones. The way Jason Lutz, he describes Berlin in the 1920s during Weimar era. Uh, he does a very good job of describing it. In some ways it's a rehash of other things that you might have seen in movies like Berlin, Alexander Platz. Um, but then instead of focusing on just one character that has been done in lots of films or books about 1920s, 1930s Berlin, he focuses on a number of characters. I like the artwork. The artwork is very good. Um, some of the things that he does in the book is that he'll the way he segues between one character to another. And these are people who don't know each other, so they'll be walking down the street. And then, um, and so that way your point of view will move from one character to another. Because just like strangers in the city, they're passing by. They don't know each other. They're doing their own thing. Um, I also like how with he'll show different different. With he'll show what's going on in just random people who maybe they're all riding the train or the bus. They're all thinking their own thoughts. Someone is thinking about what they're getting out for dinner. Someone is trying to think about. Um, what, um, about what, why her lover did a certain thing and trying to get in, trying to see if there's meaning to it or not. Um, some people are just thinking about getting to work. So, and so that's one of the things I liked. Um, he also shows um, how in many ways the battles between the the communists and the Nazis, how that was starting to begin. Um, that's something else that I liked. One thing that bothered me a little bit in the book is when he was talking about Rosa Luxemburg and how she was uh, basically lynched. That to me, I found it, it bothers me a little bit. Um, it's not that he, it's not that something he was celebrating, or it's just, it's maybe about a few pages, but it's something that moved me, mm. okay, the discussion. Um, again, I would say that the book is really good. There's, he tries to do things with a light touch, and um, letting the characters speak for themselves. And most of the people are not, um, very, I wouldn't consider most of the characters to be really thinking of ideology or big things. They're just thinking about their daily life. Mm. And some of them, you can see how slowly some of them get radicalized. Some of them get radicalized in the things I would personally not believe in or, re or would just completely reject. But you see how just trying to make it through the day. They have to tell themselves a story like we all do. And sometimes that story is going to lead to them being radicalized. Another thing I liked is how you see people forming these social networks that will support each other, such as there's one family that splits up. The husband, he joins the National Socialists. He's a veteran. And he takes his son to a lose their job. So he goes and joins the National Socialists. His wife, she joins the Communists. They might have had their tendencies anyway, but it's a, when they didn't have work, 
these were the groups that provided them with a safety net and then they start to become more active in the group because these are the friends of people who have been supporting them um, and then there's one other character who um, there's one thing that Jason Lutz did in Berlin City of Stones that I think is a little bit different from that it's very easy for a, for a writer to have put themselves in the, in the book such as by having someone who will be very similar to them who all of the action revolves around I think he was able to avoid that um, just like in I've seen this done I've seen that problem in other graphic novels like Aya and, um, and a few others but he was able to avoid that and he tries to do the devote enough time to each character so I was very happy with the book it's also very readable and we have it here at Bone Shaker Books